Hello, welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and in this video, we are going to discuss the topics of possession and exorcism. So stay tuned. Instead of just giving you the dictionary definition of possession, I actually wanted to share that with you from, of course, the book America's Most Haunted, which I've shared with you guys before. Um, but that's because this book has so much great information in it. And the reason why I wanted to share the, um, the definition of possession from this book is because I think it's such a great um, and very thorough actually definition of the word. So it says here that possession is the complete or partial overtaking of someone by an unseen, possibly demonic force. Those affected by an evil or demonic entity often exhibit bizarre and self-destructive behavior such as severe alcohol and drug abuse, criminal activity, and dramatic mood swings. Sometimes possession is an attempt by the spirit to achieve some goal using the living person as the agent. The intent is not necessarily to harm the agent. It's just an unavoidable side effect. Milder forms of possession include oppression, where the subject is affected but to a lesser degree, and attachments, in which an unseen spirit will latch on to the subject and integrate itself into their everyday life. So, I do talk about possession and exorcism a little bit in my video called Hostage to the Devil, and I'll put it right up above. Um, so, if you want to check that out, if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and check that out as well. Um, but once someone becomes possessed to the point where it's like overtaking their life um, their family and friends may seek the help and advice of a priest or someone who can perform an exorcism so I'm just going to give the dictionary definition of exorcism only because that book does not provide it for me and so it's not quite as thorough as the other definition but um, exorcism is the expulsion or attempted expulsion of a supposed evil spirit from a person or place. And so that definition came from dictionary.com. So even though it's very simple and short definition, it explains it very thoroughly because that's exactly what exorcism is. It is where you are attempting to expel a you know, unseen force from the person or place. So, if even if you do not believe that evil or demonic spirits can, like, possess a person or a place, you can at least look at what that might mean symbolically and in terms of your own soul growth and spiritual development. So... Um, let's take, for instance, the idea of attachments. <laughs> so, um, in your awareness, in your physical waking life, you can actually become so attached to something um, that that attachment can then become a possession of you. Now, it doesn't actually have to be an evil spirit, so to speak, but it, the evil spirit could actually just be something in your own thinking that you know is against your sole purpose for being here in this lifetime. So, 
you can even be possessed symbolically speaking just based on the attachments that you have to things in the physical world so anytime someone's attached to things like money or like alcohol or drugs in such a way that it begins to overtake their life they might as well be possessed by an evil demon entity because their life will never be corrected until they allow enlightenment to happen within their own being. Which brings us to the reason why in exorcism, priests usually always call upon the name of Jesus to help them to expel the demons. So let's look at the symbology of Jesus. Since the name of Jesus is used to help expel the demons from anyone who is possessed by these, you know, supposed evil demonic entities, um, then you can also look at that symbolically and you can apply it to your life similar to interpreting a dream using the universal language of mind, which I have talked about in a previous video before Halloween Spooktacular. That video is called Dream Interpretations, The Basics, and I'll put a link to that up above as well in case you want to check that out. But if you want to interpret this idea like a dream to give yourself some spiritual um, knowledge from it, then what you would want to look at is the fact that Jesus would represent an aspect of you. And so since Jesus is who he is um, and is, you know, written about in the spiritual scripture, the Bible, um, then Jesus can be uh, represented as someone who is the idea of full enlightenment. So the full enlightened self is actually an aspect of you um, in terms of interpreting an exorcism in the same sense as interpreting a dream for your own spiritual development. So, what I mean by that is when they use the name of Jesus and call upon Jesus to help expel the demons during an exorcism, what it's really showing is that it is that enlightened, enlightened aspect of yourself that the priest is then calling on to wake up and to bring light into your being to then realize the darkness for what it really is. And once the darkness is realized or once light is applied to the darkness, the darkness is then gone. So if your awakened enlightened self wakes up from this exorcism, that means that you are now able to move forward free of those attachments um, which could be termed demonic entities um, that have possessed you. But those are really just the attachments that you have in your own ego, like your lower self who is kind of engrossed in the physical world in some way or another. Now, I hope all that makes sense, you guys, and I'm sorry that that's the way this video went, but I really wanted to explain um, the fact that anything that has to do with spiritual things such as possession and exorcism, anything at all can actually be interpreted with the universal language of mind. So if it's something that you feel like you need to understand in your life in some way, you can actually interpret it like a dream to find out exactly what it is that you need to learn from the situation. I am trying to bring your awareness to the attention of these dark entities um, that are experienced throughout time and space um, because it's such a problem in the world when people don't understand their darkness. If you don't understand your darkness, then how will you ever be one with the light? All right, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.